in this video i am going to show you how to add different actions to tableau dashboard so in this video we are going to cover how to use highlight action filter action and how to edit the title and how to do on other things so to begin highlight basically highlight is like when you click something you want everything else related to that thing to be highlighted so right now i have these by different regions so this is a southern region central region east region and west region right so when i i select this region i want every region in this sheet and in this sheet to be highlighted so this color legend right here corresponds to this map color legend and basically when i click any of this when i select any of this region i want everything else to be highlighted that's corresponding to that region so to do that i'll click on this and i'll go to this drop down and i'll check this box that says show highlighted items so when it's unchecked when i click on this region nothing changes on both of these sheets but if i go back here from this drop down and i do show highlighted items when i click on this the eastern region is highlighted and the eastern region in this sheet is also highlighted and so is the eastern region in this sheet and if i click on south right the southern region is highlighted in this case the central region is highlighted in both sheets and the western region is highlighted in both sheets so this is one way to add interactivity to your graphs so that your users can select what they want to see and what they want to view so that's how you add a highlight action in your dashboard and let me go ahead and deselect this and i can also add highlight action using this one so if i right click here and go to actually click on this down and go to legends and we want the color legend if i click on the western region from here this is highlighted this is highlighted and the western region on this side is highlighted as well if i choose the central region it's also highlighted so you don't have to click here to do the highlight you can also click on this to highlight but let me go ahead and hide this so it doesn't confuse us this color legend corresponds to this map and this color legend corresponds is from this map but that is how you do highlight action in tableau now so i'm going to show you how to filter how to use something as a filter so if i want to let's say when i click on this right here i want everything else to be filtered according to this if i wanted to do that i can just do it by clicking on this icon so by clicking on this icon right whenever i select this this is the western region and this right here corresponds to the category technology that's why it's highlighted right here category is office supplies and the region is west all right but that doesn't look very good here so i'm just going to go ahead and add a few more things to our graph here to make it even more visually appealing and to make everything make a little bit more sense so let's go back here and here let's take let's add something like subcategory to detail and then change it from detail to color so now we have multiple colors right from the center you have western region the state is california and the subcategory is accessories and once you go out a step further 
it gives you um subcategory appliance and then subcategory chairs and then subcategory phones right so you have like different categories all in one circle and let's use let's keep using um the cells by category as a filter now if i click on this right it will show you different highlights on here and on here based on western region and furniture category so that is how highlight uh, that is how filter action works and of course i could also use this as my filter i could use um this graph here as my filter so i can right click I, well, I can click this drop down and go to filters and from here you have different options of what to filter by and in this case let's just filter by category all right and the filter for category shows up here and we can just look at the data corresponding to the categories we are interested in all right so let's go back and let's go ahead let's add subcategory information to this so let's do subcategory here and maybe remove region let's go back to analysis here and if we are using this as a filter right whenever we click on this everything else filters to just this information so here we're looking at categories and subcategories so in the in the office supplies category right in the western region we are looking at subcategory storage and even this information right here changes to reflect what we are looking at exactly you can also filter on a map by drawing on it so you can click this map you can click this button right here and let's say select a lasso tool and let's say select this I need to make sure this is done before and then so once you select it to only show you the information related to what you've highlighted so in this case just central and west regions we can click on this and maybe use this to select the southern and eastern region and maybe a little bit of the western central region too and that is what's highlighted and once that's selected so there are there are multiple ways for you to make selections in tableau with filtering we can also filter things using a filter card i kind of showed you a little bit of this earlier but i just want to make it clear how to use a filter card so it's for me to show out the filters related to this i'll just right click actually just click on this drop down and go to filters and in this case i want to filter using let's say region for example naturally right if i just select this everything here disappears and if i can look at information specific to different region but what if when i make a selection here i want it to apply to everything to make that happen you click this drop down and then you go to apply to worksheet and you go to all using this data source okay now when i select when i deselect everything everything disappears and when i select central just information specific to central shows up west just information specific to west shows up so that is how to use a filter card that is one way to set this all right another way to set this is doing it in the sheets so if i go back here let me just leave this as it is and let me go to here and let's just take subcategory again well subcategories in the filter already 
but I want to take subcategory to detail and change that to color the way it was before. And as you can see right here, subcategory is in the filter right here. What I just did where I applied this filter to all the worksheets, I can do the same thing from here. And the way you do that is this similar you just click this drop down and you can say apply to worksheet apply to all using this data source all right now when I go to my go back to my dashboard I can click this drop down here and go to filters I want to look at the subcategory filter And whatever I choose here is applied here automatically. Let me go ahead and add subcategory to this so you can see the changes in real time. Let's go here and let's, as you can see, like the changes I made here, right, has been applied right here in this filters panel and also applied right here in the filters panel. But let's go ahead and add subcategory to this. So when we go back, to our dashboard right whatever changes we make here will not only be applied to this place it will be applied here and here so let's just choose all and then nothing and let's just choose a few I remember I set the filter action from right here so you can so if you want um, the filter that somebody chooses to apply to all your sheets you can set it from right here drop down apply to worksheets everything or you can set it from right here now I think we should maybe add the title to this so to add a title to our workbook you just go to dashboard and show and then click on show title and that's title right there and of course we can double click to edit it and then here yeah, we can do something like use filters to explore data and we maybe will probably do this something like make it a little bit smaller something maybe make this a bit smaller too And from here, this insert is for you to insert different things. So you can insert sheet name, workbook name, default title, full name, username, parameter. So let's just do insert sheet name, right? And we got our sheet sales analysis. So you can click on apply to see the changes. And that's the sheet name. That's what we wrote. And that's the second line that we wrote right there. So you can add title to your work area using this. Let's go ahead and let's just leave it as it is for now. Why not? So let's say you are in a situation where you have a whole lot of sheets. Let's say your sheets run from the beginning here all the way to the end. You have a whole lot of sheets and you don't want to be looking at all your sheets all the time. You can actually hide your sheets. And to do that, you can right click here and click on hide and it hides it from this panel right here or you can right click from here and do hide and it hides it from this panel and you can have you can get a preview of your different panels by clicking this button right here so these tiny buttons like down here this is like the tabs format and this is like a film strip, like a preview of what you have. And to, uh, and to unhide your sheet, to take your sheet from hiding, you can right click here and uncheck hide and your sheet comes back. Or you can right click on your dashboard and click on hide all sheets. Or right click on your dashboard and click hide all sheets to hide all your sheets at once. So you don't have to do it one by one manually that's it for this video I know it went a little bit longer but those are the kind of like the cool different things that you could do 
in Tableau dashboard. And in the next video, we'll continue working with Tableau dashboard.